Hello everyone, this is Mr. Church, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this Rubik's Cube base, which uh, I just looked at. I totally made my character do that. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. I'm building this camp right here in the Cranberry Bog. Uh, I like the flat ground and the, the views are really nice, but this is a very high level spawn location, so you will be harassed by high level mobs if you build here. Fair warning. If you want to build in a more peaceful environment and you still want the open area around you in the flat ground, I recommend areas around this area near White Spring. There's the snake right here. There's a lot of good spots over here that are, I mean, they're usually taken, but I mean, if you're in your private server, it's fine. So anyway, let's get started. Um, as you can see, I've already uh, put my camp down here. I moved the node over to the side. You can just pick that up inside the camp menu and move it around so it's not in the way. Uh, fun fact, if you put your camp down in the middle of this uh, cranberry bush, you won't be able to pick your camp up. So uh, just put it like next to it or something, that's fine. So what we're actually going to be doing is building this gigantic cube with uh, double-sided walls. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then we're going to delete the bottom layers, then we're going to do the middle section, then we're going to do the bottom again. So let's get to it. Uh, let's see, floors, uh, yes, we definitely want a 3x3 three three base to start off with. So here's how you do a double wall, if you don't know how to. It's very simple. Put down a doorway, and then if you have a foundation on the other side of it, you can put another doorway down facing each other and then when you're done you just replace them with whatever wall you want if you want a window you put two you know change these both to windows whatever this allows you to have double walls we're doing this so that we can get it on both sides though all the way up to the top so as you can see I'm not lagging out at all we're going to do this all the way around, and we're just going to move this with us so we don't have to build a billion foundations. Alright, so I've done this all the way around, now we've got our bottom layer. This, this whole row of walls is going to be deleted, this is just on which we build our church. All right. So now we go up another level, and so on and so forth until the cows come home. We're going to do this four walls high. So, again, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, there we have it. It's looking pretty fancy. A quick note, uh, for those who don't know, the if you blueprint uh, two poles together, like so, you can literally just slap them in the air anywhere you want. Now, this isn't really that helpful. I mean, it, maybe it could be, but if you blueprint the stair prefab with one pole, as you can see, there's one pole attached to it right there, uh, you can also do that. You can literally attach it to nothing. Uh, and then when you're done with it, you can just delete it like that. So that's that's the scaffolding that I used to do this inside. I just, I literally just popped one up right here. Now, if you're going to use this, it's very important that you do not attach any stairs or floor pieces to it, as you will not be able to delete them. But if you just leave this as it is, just the, the post and the stairs, and then delete the post first, and then you can delete the stairs when you're done, it's a very quick and easy way to get scaffolding up to a place without having to mess around with uh, foundations and floors and stuff. Alright, so our next the next thing we're going to do is we're going to delete every single one of these layers except for the top layer. Ha ha. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be fun. So there we have the middle layer deleted. I've started deleting this wall here. This is going to be the top of the Rubik's Cube there. And this layer is going to be the bottom layer. And then the middle layer we're going to build upward from the... we're going to rotate the middle foundation and build upward from there, but we have to delete this bottom so that we can build up to the middle layer and then delete underneath that. So 
a lot of building and deleting going on. I just want to show you real quick. Now, before we move these foundations here so we can rotate the middle one, uh, the reason why we have this bottom layer and why it's so important that we have it there the whole time is if you have no foundation underneath this and there's and they're stacked like this, you're not going to be able to get rid of this because it doesn't have a legitimate foundation. So the game knows it's floating. Oh my god, am I going to get nuked? Sometimes people nuke this spot. Um, let's, okay, so they're just nuking this random ass area, that's fine. Okay, so everything's fine, it's probably not going to lag the server out any more than it already is anyway. This, the game knows that there's an, a floating piece here, and it doesn't really know what to do. It knows that if you get rid of this, then a piece is going to be floating. Anyway, so just make sure you keep foundations underneath the stuff that you're trying to delete otherwise it's not going to let you so with that said I'm going to delete all these pieces and then I'm going to show you how we're going to do the middle alright so now we've just got this lonely ring in the sky and we've got our base here now it's really important that we keep one of these foundations because it's you know it's all connected to the same grid we want to save this piece for um, for the bottom layer so that so that we know it's exactly lined up with the top. Now we're going to do the middle layer and it's going to be all attached to this foundation here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to rotate it. It doesn't matter how far you rotate it. Rubik's Cube spins uh, 360 degrees, but we're going to do like 45-ish degrees try to get it, I mean that's not 45 degrees, um, try to get it like as level with these as you can because if it's if it's sticking up too high then then the walls could intersect with those walls. How pretty. Alright so now we're gonna build outward from this one right here. So just uh, can connect these to that and then this will be our new 3x3 three three grid for the middle layer. You can put some more down with our one extra for the double wall trick. And we will build upward like so. And we're going to do this all the way around. Alright, it's coming along. It's coming along well. As you can see, I've gotten half of it done, and I'm just going to continue to bring it this way and do the other sides. Then once we're done with that, same story, we're going to delete the bottom two layers. And then using our reference foundation over here, that we put in the weeds over here, we're going to bring it back over this way and then build up our bottom layer which will line up perfectly with the top because it's all you know it's all the same uh, orientation as this cube right here so yeah I'll, I'll do that and there she is in all her hideous glory and now with the foundations all still attached you can just begin getting rid of this middle and bottom layers There we have our top and middle layers done. And now we can actually just store these foundations here and or move them. And we can bring them over using this one that we put in the weeds over here. Let's make sure that's the middle. Okay. So, now you're going to do the exact same thing you did in the beginning with this, with the 3x3. Three three. Uh, let's see. Make sure that's all lined up before you do anything, because you don't want to 
Yeah, that looks like it's lined up. Alright, so your bottom layer is connected to this. However, we're going to put a floor on the bottom of this thing. And that means we're going to do something a little tricky. And by that I mean we're going to put a floating staircase in there. Which will allow us to have... Um, a bottom floor with staircases connected to it. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some posts you build upward like this. So use the stairs that I have here because they have the staircase um, you know closer to us which if you look closely if, if I were to use these ones you know the stairs <clears throat> are, are going to be intersecting with the walls so make sure you you use this one and just pop it down like that. Uh, see how it's not lined up perfectly? I'm actually going to move this real quick because I, I put it... Oh, I can't. That's right. So, if you get that error, delete it so it's completely floating. And then just store it. And then we're going to try that again. Just make sure it's lined up perfectly because the stairs for some reason have several snapping points. I think that's correct. Yeah, there we go. Right there. Okay, that's lined up. And then once that's there, just delete the posts. And there you have the basis for your uh, your floating bottom. Move these back in. First, we're gonna we're gonna do the walls around it. So again. The where I'm just gonna use the middle piece. We don't need that. The extra for the double wall. I'm gonna start at the stairs because the stairs can be tricky, and I'm actually just gonna attach these right to the stairs. And then I can do just a double wall, just a backwards wall, not two, and I can just snap to that. See. And I've saved exactly two seconds of my life by doing that. Which is really important, I think. So, we're just going to pop that there. Because this is the bottom layer, I'm just deleting the extra one when I'm done. like so. There, that's the tricky part. And then just continue around the way you did the rest of the base with double walls. All the way around. And that will do it for the main structure. This is genuinely the hard part. After this, it's... I'm not going to say it's a walk in the park, but it's definitely a lot easier. So, a quick note when working with uh, floating stairs like this. Any floors, as I said before, any floors or stairs that you attach them while it's floating like this, you will not be able to delete. So. Keep that in mind when you put down every floor, especially if you're like me and you can't stand if they're sideways. Make sure you have them perfectly lined up how you want them before you place them down because you will not be able to rotate them. You can change what they are, obviously, but you can't rotate them or move them. So, you know, keep that in mind. I'm just going to use the mesh ones. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, now we're going to take some normal stairs going down 
And then this is how we're gonna seal off the bottom by attaching, you know, our upper floors to this staircase down here. And then you'll just be able to snap them underneath everything. And I'm being very careful because if it's not lined up perfectly or whatever, I can't just take it off. It's going to be there forever. So be really careful underneath here. Yeah, this one is being annoying, but it will go down. It just doesn't know it wants to. Oh my goodness. I saw it was... Oh my god, there it was. Okay. And then this is our bottom done... And we would just be replacing these with some kind of flooring, whatever we decide to put in here eventually. Um, we'll just do these for now. Just so we have a closed off bottom. I was just doing the mesh ones because I, I have no idea why I was doing the mesh ones. There's literally, there's no reason. It, it's just complete stupidity. So now we're going to do this floor, slap that down, and yeah, replacing that one as well. And then this is going to be the, you know, upper living area, and then up here we're going to do a roof which we can literally just slap in there like this except I want to use the atom shop ones and let's start at the top this upper floor I'll just leave this hole here and then you know we'll be able to whoops that's not what I meant to do but it works we'll be able to access this now I'm going to go ahead and change out everything for the walls. So just go in, hit replace, and then you can just change them like this to a wall. And while I'm up here, also going to add wallpaper. So if you have like a reference to, to follow, that's helpful. Um, this part can actually be a little tricky. What I did was I literally just took my own Rubik's Cube out, jumbled it around, and then looked at it, and then just copied and pasted. So, I don't know. I'm just going to put random colors in right now, because I don't really care at this point. Um, if it's wrong, sue me. That was not intentional. But as you can see, it's really starting to come together already. All right, I'm going to do this, replace all the walls, Except for right here, which is how we're how we're gonna get in, um, and then yeah, we'll pick it up from there. I just thought I'd uh, throw this in there. Uh, yeah. Um. What? This uh, addition is optional. You don't have to hang a scorch beast on yours if you don't want to. Um, I just, I thought it would add to the kind of, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, so I've changed all the doorways out to, uh, to, uh, walls. And now you just plaster the different colored wallpapers on there. And then we'll get to the interior. So what I've done for the interior is, uh, where there's gaps, I've put these carpets down. You can use the square ones from the Atom Shop, uh, like the Grognak one's really nice and square. It's just, it will be visible from the outside of your camp. So one thing you could do is put this one down, which has a nice, you know, gray tone, and then put the Grognak one over it to cover any gaps that might be there. 
Um, but really, it's all up to you. Uh, it really doesn't matter. People aren't going to be judging your carpets in the corners. They're going to be like, why the fuck do you have a Rubik's Cube base? And then they're probably going to nuke it, which has happened to me. All right, so what do we do next? All right, so now we've got the outside with the colors, that's probably one of the most annoying things to do. This is going to be like the middle layer, and because it's raining, obviously all the textures look terrible. Um, it's just a fun mechanic of the game. So like, that's nice, that's a good thing to do. We're going to put down a carpet in this corner, covering up that. Um, like so, make sure we can still come up and down the stairs. Now here's a cool thing, because we have the middle layer rotated, we can actually put a wall right here. Like so. And then we can have on the inside, it'll just be wood. And we can make this be a nice artificial wood. Like that. Um, we can do this texture on this back side. And then for this corner, I'm going to do a little fireplace area. So I'm going to do the orange carpet. And then I'm going to do these backwards, of course, and then above that we can just do, we'll do the brick half walls in case anyone looks through the holes, they'll see brick in the fireplace. Nice. And then we're just going to wallpaper that with the flagstones, or whatever they're called. Um, really nice looking, but I, I just realized that I forgot to put the wall in there. Um, so you have to do the top first, and we're going to do a campfire. The Fosnock fireplace does look better, but it just doesn't fit in there for some reason. Um, back to what we had before. And we'll put the fireplace stuff on it. And as funny as this Scorch Beast is, I'm going to join a new server so that that's not in my base anymore because it's getting on my last nerve. So I'll be right back. Okay, we're back in a new server and not only is it not raining, so everything looks gray, but there's no Scorch Beast hanging in my wall anymore. As you can see, this looks a lot better now that we're in the daylight. Now, I switched this doorway right here out for a... Um, uh, that is not what I meant to do. Oh, my God. Okay, so this actually brings us to a good hypothetical situation. What happens if you accidentally scrap one of these wall pieces? Well, if it's on one of the middle or top ones, well, you're really screwed, but... Because I did this on the bottom, it's actually not a big deal. I can take a wall piece um, and I can just build down underneath it. And then I can take this foundation and I can put it here. I can put it, I can put it, I can put it. What the hell are you doing? There we go, no. There. And then I can take a floor piece and put it here. And then I can take a wall piece, put it there, and I can take a wall piece and put it there. And then I can delete these again. So, yeah, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we just replaced that really quick, and I'm going to, I don't know what color this was, orange maybe. I was just trying to say, this is, I changed it out from the, uh, the nice blue ones, because the blue ones have a big 
door jam like this around it, which looks really ugly. So I re replace them with these metal ones because when you have wallpaper on it, it doesn't matter. See, it looks much better. So yeah, we're gonna put a nice blue door on this though, make it pop. That looks really great, I think. Um, let's see, up here, middle layer is what we were working on. I did the fireplace over here, which is looking pretty nice. Uh, we're gonna do the backsplash in there. Uh, the same, the same exact. Uh, actually, I'm gonna do this darker one. All right, so we got our fireplace in. We got this, which is going to be our bathroom. We've got. Um, I'm thinking over here's the living room. Over here's the kitchen. Um, and then up here is gonna be the master bedroom. And I'm gonna gonna put a carpet covering half of that hole, so it's not so big. So, yeah. I guess I will get decorating and I will show you the results. Greetings, comrades. The list that can be trusted is a Ugh, it's hard work making a living out here. Revolutionary value results several. All right, that's going to be it for today. Hope you guys learned something new. Hope you guys have fun building this in your own little camp area. Uh, check out my channel for other build videos like this. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one.